Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Um, as you can see from the quality of this video, I'm having problems with my Logitech C920 webcam. Um, this issue only arised after I um, started switching across from Windows to Linux. It worked perfectly on Windows and as soon as I started using Linux, um, I started getting these wavy lines all over the screen. Um, I googled it, I tried to find the source of what it was and I just couldn't. Um, there's loads of issues um, that people have resolved with exposure and um, things like that, but that wasn't my issue. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix this in this video. Before we do that, um, if you find this video useful, please take the time to hit the like button. Um, it is important while we're trying to get the channel built up at the moment. Um, consider subscribing to our channel and if you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are done. Um, if you'd like to hire us for anything, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the Hire Us button. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't post them on YouTube. Head across to our forums at forums.sheridan.co.uk and post them there. Um, right, with that out of the way, so let's get on to the issue of fixing this problem with this Logitech C920. Okay, you're having this problem, you're more than likely um, in the EU. So, it works fine on Windows, but say, but the issue is um, on Linux, these wavy lines. What's the cause of it? It's the power line frequency. The Logitech C920 by default is set to 60 hertz, and being in the UK, we're 50 hertz, and that's exactly what is causing these lines. Um, so all we need to do is to set the power line frequency on the camera itself to um, 50 hertz, and we're fine. I've tried doing this in OBS because it does have the settings and it doesn't seem to override the actual webcam settings. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this manually. So this is now the second time I've had this issue. Uh, and it's as a result of reinstalling Linux. Uh, the first time around it drove me absolutely up the wall trying to find out um, the cause of it. Um, and when I noticed the settings, it was uh, it just occurred to me it was quite easy to resolve. Um, so let's go ahead and sort this out. Let me switch over to the second screen because we need to pull a console up for this. So I'm going to pull a console up. Right. Um, so we're going to use video for Linux. So we need to find our camera. Uh, V4, CTL control, uh, list devices. So as you can see, my um, HD Pro webcam C920 and it's on uh, video zero. So if I do minus D, dev video zero. Um, list controls. It makes it look wider. Um, right. The this gives you all the options that you can set within the um, camera yourself. Um, the one that we're interested in is this one here. Power line frequency. By default, it's set to 2. Um, so 2 is 60 hertz, 1 is 50 hertz. Uh, that's what we need to change. Um, so if we do get control equals power line, sorry, power line frequency, let's check volume. You can see it's set to 2. Now if I go ahead and I set this to one, then the lines should disappear from the camera. And they have. I really hope that helps somebody because I'd say it drove me absolutely nuts. Um, it really did. Uh, while you're playing with this, if you need to change any other options, you can do in here. Um, if I do get uh, zoom absolute, you can see it's set at 100, um, and from here we can see the minimum value is 100 and the max is 500. Now if I change that to set control, zoom absolute equals 200. Now as you can see that zooms in. And you can save these, you know, make these um, default on system load. Um, the only issue I was interested in fixing there was that power line frequency. Just the amount of time I spent banging my head on the desk because of that. Um, the next thing I guess you want to know is how you can uh, make these persistent across reboots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 
All right, just made the screen and the font a bit bigger. Um, I will leave the command in the description below. Um, right, so we need to create a file to make these persistent. So we're going to do sudo vi, etc. udab uh, rules, and we're going to call this 99 logitech.rules. I'm going to go ahead and enter it. Toast password in. Right, I'm going to copy and paste this. Um, from the last time I did this. Right, so we set the subsystem to video for Linux. The kernel equals video zero to nine star. Basically picks a video number up. So we're searching for that. Attributes, product, we've got HD Pro Webcam C920. So we're specifically searching for this camera and the serial of the serial number of the camera. Uh, now the reason I've done that is rather than doing forward slash dev forward slash video zero, um, is if you move cameras about and it changes, then it's not going to be an issue. Uh, and then obviously we've got the command at the end to set control line frequency to one. Um, so you're gonna to need to know how to pull this information up. Go ahead and show you that real quick. Right, so to find that information, you need UDEV ADM, uh, info, it's attribute walk or walk attributes, can never remember. Attribute walk, name equals function dev video zero. All right, uh, and that pulls basically all the, all the attributes out for your camera. Um, and the ones that we're interested in was in product, so you can do grep product, and you can copy and paste that string in there. Uh, and we also wanted the serial number. To grep in the serial pulls this out, which so these were the two terms we were searching on. Um, so when it finds that device, it's going to go ahead and uh, issue the commands that we sent it. So just to make sure I've got that right, I'm going to go ahead and um, give this a quick reboot. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I've rebooted and um, as you can see, it's resolved the issue. Um, that's got to be worth a like, hasn't it? If you've been having this issue, um, please hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing and hit the notifications so you receive any notifications of any new videos as they are done. Um, so I really hope that helps somebody and um, I'll see you in the next video.